Hi boys and girls, I'm the and uncle. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is CK and my channel is Ecology, where I bring my viewers around the world to eat, see and explore and explore. I had now a few hotels here in Singapore. I've covered the Marina Bay Sands, Park Royal Pickering, also Paradox in Clark Key. A lot of my viewers requested that CK, can you please cover more budget hotel? And I totally understand because Singapore hotels are one of the most expensive here in Asia and you want to get the best buck out of your money. Today's episode, I am going to show you my recommended mid-range budget hotel here in Singapore because I have stayed in a lot of hotels in Singapore during my business day trip here and I know the location and I know the quality of these hotels. Now a lot have changed since the pandemic. I'll be telling you the location of these hotels. When I talk about mid-range hotel, it should be a approximately price range wise 250 Singapore dollar that is kind of what I would think it's a mid-range hotel so without ado let's go to hotel number one and we are already right here at Oasia downtown Singapore on first impression Oasia hotel downtown feels like a cross between a tropical gateway with multiple pools and incredible greenery and a luxus stay. Oasia's excellent location right in the heart of Singapore's central business district, it's its best attributes that makes it stand out from all other hotels. Oasia Hotel is a vertical garden, an architectural delight in the district of high rise. This hotel is consistently breezy due to its sustainability forward design dawn with lush vines, climbing plants help cool down the building. Checking into the hotel is in the open air on one side of a sky garden on the 12th floor reception. I like this table. It's sort of uh, very practical and doesn't take a lot of spaces. Um, the orange theme here we have. It's pretty nice. Oh, I like this carving. It gives us a little bit uh, of uh, shape here in the room. The wood wall panel and of course the view, the view. Oh, this is pretty nice. I have a whole view until the reception area at 12 and there's this ceiling there which kind of sealed it from the room. Um, I think this is the top floor of the club room but I can see a little bit of the ocean which is not bad. And there's the pool of Sofitel, and Sofitel's pool. It's a small little chair here, nice. And these panels really adds color to the room. And here you go, here is the washroom. Oh, that's pretty nice. Oh, these anonymities. Oh, these showers, gels, and shampoos are really, really cute. Um, rain shower, but really nice overall. I I think it's it's very practical, I would say. Um, although I think the toilet bowl right here would be a bit odd. But all in all, pretty satisfied. Mirrors. Soap. Okay, let's look at what's hiding behind the closet. Okay, we have iron board. Bathrobe that I like and hair dryer. Pretty practical. There's a huge space up here, up here where you can put anything you want. And there's a closet area here as well. Cool. Okay, this 
spot where they give you cups and some coffee. There's a kettle and ta-da, fridge. Safety boxes here. It's all in one small little compartment. It's very easy to miss, but here they are. Um, they don't really provide bottled water because of the environmental concern they have, which is really, really good. So boil your own water. My room looks pretty immaculate. It's a very compact room um, with the mid-range price that I've mentioned. It's a very compact room. I liked it. it. I feel very warmly welcome here. The receptionist just called when I got onto the room and she mentioned, is everything okay? Are you okay with the room? And that, that I thought was a very, very nice gesture. So here you are, the pool area, and you are actually swimming covered in this gigantic structure that is um, covered with plants. And that's the concept of Oasia um, far, by Far Eastern Hospitality is they're going to cover the whole um, structure with the hanging plants. And I must say they're doing a fabulous job. The plants look really, really well taken care of. And there's not only one, but two of these pools. So if one pool gets a bit busy and noisy, you can come to the other pool. And I would say among the list in this, ho in this the, the hotel list in this video, this is really the longest pool where you can actually do laps on it. And I think I'm gonna do that. But before that, I'm just gonna point out the colorful rattan chair beautifully designed. I think that is the, really the highlight of this uh, pool area. So there you go. The pool area, amazing. And I think they've refurbished it since I stayed here last before the pandemic. I highly, highly recommend this hotel. If being in a central location is not your main concern in Singapore, this four-star hotel, Momentous Hotel Alexandra, is one of the best hotel outside the hustle and bustle of the city. I checked in to a premier queen room thinking of our budget, and I must say, this is one of my favorite room. It is very airy and also very brightly lit, which I liked. They recently renovated this hotel and ta-da, surprise! With this price range, you can even get a bathtub. Sadly, the socket here is not internationally fitted. So if you're an international traveler, you might have to bring your travel adapter with you. This little lamp here is actually one of my favorite features because I love reading to sleep at night. And this little lamp really helps lighten up my reading time. And as I said, the room is really, really nice. And they provide a fridge so you can stack up on your grocery and put it in there. Lots of uh, cabinet spaces to put your stuff, I must say. And also this table, I sat for hours doing my work very comfortably. One other feature is the touched point air conditioning control, which you don't have to press those hard button. Another thing I really like about this room is they have a premier filter drinking water. So you don't have to buy bottled water, which are quite expensive here in Singapore. I would say so far, Momentous Hotel has been full of pleasant surprises, but their best feature for a mid-range hotel is absolutely the fabulous pool and the pool bar.
very very adequate uh, selections of breakfast here at the 19th floor clubhouse the chef will make any sort of eggs uh, fried eggs mine is of course sunny side that's my choice of eggs in the morning the service here i must say excellent from the moment i walked into the hotel breakfast and um, yesterday's evenings um, happy hour everything was like really really top notch so highly recommend this is unbelievably a mid-range budget hotel and i will see you in the next one I'm now at my last stop and I am at the busy Orchard Road. Now Orchard Road is well renowned to be the shopping district and the tourist central area here in Singapore. Every major shopping mall is lined up in Orchard Road. It really is like the Times Square of New York here. And of course, many of you want to stay here in Orchard Road. And I think other than Sentosa, Orchard Road would be one of the most expensive area to stay here in Singapore. But if you can stretch your budget a little bit, and plan your trip and book your hotel a little bit earlier, there's one hotel that actually fits within the budget we are looking for. And this hotel is Boko Hotel here in Orchard Road. Let's check in and see what it is like. So there we are, I've checked in here at Boko and Boko is an IHG group hotel. So those of you who have IHG member, then I would think this is the perfect hotel for you. And talking about location, this hotel is situated beside the Orchard MRT station, of course. Now the Orchard MRT station is a little bit confusing. So when you arrive at Orchard MRT, just look out for the Patterson, Eon Patterson link, and then looked out for the sign Patterson Road. So that would be kind of the exit for coming here from the Orchard MRT station. Now talking about location, I mean, this room is really quite nice. Room is pretty decent. It does have a small bathtub, your, if that's a must for you. The, there's a rooftop pool as well. I thought the rooftop pool was pretty basic but it, it really is quite okay and the view up there is pretty pretty nice so I'm pretty happy with um, the choice that I have and I said if you book far enough then you can still make it to the about 250 300 sing dollar a night rate at a standard room and talking about location there's really is no better location than Orchard Road and this hotel Volker Hotel is situated right beside Far Eastern now, which is Far Eastern Shopping Mall, it's really a hidden gem here in Orchard Road where you can get really good bargain for pedicure, medicure, and massages too here at Orchard Road, right at the center of Orchard Road. So there you go, that wraps up my video for the three mid-range hotel that will not break your wallet while staying here in Singapore. And I hope you find this video useful and now you have three more choices of mid-range hotel that you can recommend to your friend and also for yourself. I do not take any sponsorship. It would be nice if you can support my channel by going to buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com and here are more videos of Singapore 
and more things to do here in Singapore while you are here in Singapore. Ideas for you. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye from Boko Hotel here at Orchard Road.